I don't eat shredded cheese anymore. But again, you do you. There is an ingredient in shredded cheese called cellulose right there. There is an ingredient in feminine products called cellulose. Cellulose absorbs fluid. We're made up of 70 to 90 percent fluid. Now, people argue that it's derived from plants. Just because it's from a plant doesn't mean it's meant for our bodies. All right, so cellulose is a complex carbohydrate or polysaccharide made up of glucose subunits. It is the main component of plant cell walls and makes up about 33% of vegetable matter. It is the most abundant of all naturally occurring organic compounds. It would certainly be a logical fallacy to say that it's natural and from plants, therefore it is safe to consume. However, that's not the argument for why it's safe. We know it's safe and in fact even beneficial because we understand what it does in the human body. Cellulose is an indigestible carbohydrate, otherwise known as dietary fiber, and specifically insoluble fiber. Insoluble fiber is an important part of a healthy diet because it adds bulk to stool and helps food pass through the stomach and intestines. This is one of the main benefits of consuming fruits and vegetables, right? Fiber. Now, cellulose also has certain functional properties, such as binding water, that make it an effective anti-caking agent in foods like shredded cheese. This same property also makes it useful in some non-food applications, such as pads. Just because a food ingredient is also used in non-food applications does not mean that it is unsafe to consume. See my previous video for that logical fallacy. There are other polysaccharides that we use in cooking for their water binding and water absorbing properties, like starches, cornstarch, or even arrowroot powder, which is something she is using here in one of her cooking videos. These things can be used to help thicken things like sauces and soups. All right, let's continue. Hear me out here. If I went and ate tree bark, would anything bad happen to me? I mean, if I blended it up really well and was able to get it down, probably not after like one or two times, but over time, who knows what it would do to my body. It's not meant to eat the bark of a tree, right? Kind of the same thing with cellulose. Well, this is quite an interesting argument considering a lot of us actually do eat tree bark and she does as well. Cinnamon. I'm sorry, what was that? Cinnamon. One more time. Ah yes, cinnamon, a spice obtained from the inner bark of several tree species. More than half of cinnamon consists of polysaccharides, pectin, and yes, cellulose. These water binding properties also make cinnamon an effective thickener. Of course, we use it often for the flavor it adds to food as well. Here's what we do instead. You could get a block of cheese and a really cute cheese shredder and shred it yourself. It's a, a good arm workout and it doesn't take much time. Or if you want your life to be really easy, get pre-sliced cheese, chop it up really fine, or put it in my veggie chopper, boom. There's your shredded cheese. Much healthier, and why risk it? Sure, of course, if you want to shred your own cheese and you have the ability to do so, you can choose to do that. However, pre-shredded can be helpful and convenient for those that don't have the ability to shred cheese or just simply don't want to. This is being positioned as just an opinion when in fact it's not. Claiming that shredding your own cheese is healthier and that pre-shredded comes with added risk is just incorrect and adds to unnecessary food fears. A bit of cellulose is, if anything, adding a bit of insoluble fiber to that shredded cheese. Although it's typically less than one gram per serving, so not much when compared to other sources in your diet like fruits and vegetables. Of course, there might be specific applications where you might want to shred your own cheese because the anti-caking agents can interfere with melting and things like that. You could even buy shredded for some applications and shred your own for other applications. It doesn't have to be always one way or the other. Please take some time this month to detox your feed of wellness influencers that make you unnecessarily afraid of safe ingredients and safe foods. This is not wellness.